drops out there this midday. This is what it looks like on the radar for you. We've got a line of showers approaching the I-35 corridor, still west of Mason City. It stretches down to near the Ames area, and even a couple of new thunder showers are popping up west of the metro. So let's take you on a little tour here. West of Ankeny, we've got some sprinkles headed your way. It is moving up to the northeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. A couple more raindrops over to near the Oskaloosa area and Atumwa. Very light rain at best. The strongest weather we have is now approaching Jewel. There may be some small hail with this as it moves north of the Gilbert area, moves through Story City. Up through Belmont, you've got some showers moving into town here and then west of Mason City. So if you're heading up to the north today, you'll be encountering some wet roads. More showers, more storms are pretty much widespread here across much of Minnesota. That's going to be spreading into the Twin Cities area, while the southern half of our state is going to be missing out pretty much on the rain activity. So taking you hour by hour into the afternoon we go. By 5 p.m. we'll still be dealing with isolated to scattered thunderstorms across central Iowa and northern Iowa. Out to the east, that's where the better chances for rain are going to be. By 7 p.m. this rain begins to shift to the east. So from Grinnell over toward Waterloo, it's a lingering chance of seeing some evening showers. That heads out of the viewing area by around 9 p.m. And overnight there may be a spotty sprinkle up across the northern part of the state, but the main energy stays well up to the north. Wednesday's looking pretty quiet by the afternoon. A few pop-up showers could develop with the heating of the day. But once again, looks to be across the northern counties. So southern Iowa looks like you're going to have to get out the watering cans and water your flowers. The wind has been pretty stiff too, coming in from the south. And that south wind, about 15 to 20 miles per hour, is pumping in the heat and the humidity. It is really warm out there despite the clouds. Ottumwa 85 right now. But where it's been raining, it's significantly cooler. Fort Dodge, 73 degrees right now. You're enjoying a beautiful midday, but things are going to heat back up. So this afternoon, our best chance is to see any rain come in before 7 o'clock this evening. Then the rain chances move out to the east. Skies will begin to clear back out. And after highs today into the upper 80s, we are headed for a couple of refreshing days before even more intense heat moves back in. Here in Des Moines, we do have some juicy looking clouds out there. Otherwise, some peaks of sunshine. 82 here in Des Moines. Strong south wind and the air is thick. The dew point is now up to 72. Pretty tropical, making it feel like 87. This afternoon, highs are headed for the upper 80s despite the clouds and that chance for rain. The rain moves out by this evening and tomorrow we'll have some stronger winds building in from the north, dragging in lower humidity levels. It's going to be a real treat there on Thursday with morning readings in the 60s, afternoon highs barely making it into the 80s. Enjoy it though. A lot of heat arrives. Starting on Friday, we get a stretch here of some 90 degree weather. Widespread sunshine, not very many rain chances out there and that heat looks to intensify as we head toward the end of the weekend into the start of next week.